with succession planning? Uh, that's an interesting question because uh, our firm makes sure that when we represent the client, we communicate to that client that we are part of a team. And that team consists of not only the lawyer, but also the CPA, also the insurance agent. Uh, there's bankers involved. There's insurance uh, brokers involved. And uh, it's only when you have the entire team focused on an issue and giving input to that owner that that owner can feel that he's got the best advice that he can possibly get. So oftentimes succession planning may be implemented by the insurance agent or the CPA, but unless you have all of the people involved to give their input, you don't have a successful plan. Uh, but in total, that team has to be all on the same page because each has certain expertise that they need to bring to the table. And you certainly don't want to have the lawyer recommend, for example, a life insurance policy and the insurance agents say, well, that's a great plan, except he's got a certain heart condition and he's not going to be um, amenable to an insurance policy with any reasonable premium. So nice planning, but we need to do something different. And without that input, um, you may be spending the business owner's money needlessly because that's not a viable option. Likewise, certain tax considerations come into play, and without that CPA's input, you're going to uh, possibly cause some problems um, because there are certain tax situations that curtail certain estate planning or succession planning uh, options. Uh, simply because they might be an S corporation or they might have certain shareholders or they can have uh, trust be shareholders or things of that nature. And again, the CPA is intimately involved and he's going to know that answer and uh, he's certainly vital to the whole program.